Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to Kitty Powers Matchmaker, our quest for 25 children, of which we're still only at 12, and 12 might as well be zero, because if you ain't first, in this case 25, you're last, in this case zero. So before we get on to reading our mail and then setting up dates, I actually have a little bit of news. Now this game's super pink and whatnot. But for those of you who don't like the pink so much, or maybe like the pink, but also like the black, the blackness of spooky, I actually played Five Nights at Freddy's 2 on my girlfriend's channel, Purple Pegasus. So, uh, I will annotate over my face, I suppose, like right around here, or there will be a link in the description if you want to see me play a spooky game. <laughs> Um, we should coordinate, we should have coordinated that well enough that they will be up on the same day, this video and those videos, so that's all fine and dandy. Now let's get on to the mail. Cliniqua has possible bad news. Oh no, it's fine. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I forgot about Honest Colin. Oh jeez. Uh, Colin and I are still in a relationship and sharing accommodation. We both enjoy motorsports together. Oh, it's always good if you can watch NASCAR Let's be honest, Let's not NASCAR, Formula One together. Our union is so total that I can easily abide his infatuation with voodoo. I recall telling one or two lies, but it was in both of our interests. Our happiness levels are high and still increasing. Good for you, you two. And really, if you can put up with that hat, you can put up with anything. Now, Lydia Cakeland has good news, and it's Orville and I are still together, and we have a place of our own. We both really enjoy singing badly. We're so compatible that I can easily live with his obsession with spring cleaning, and the best thing is I was completely honest with him. We're really happy together. This could be for life. We sent you a little something to say thanks. See, now, come on. Like, a lot of their stuff lined up, I thought for sure they might be baby-making material, at least marriage material, but they sent me a waterproof GPS. I guess that's for those practical types, so I'll be okay with that. So first up, we have Corolla. Uh, kind of rhymes with granola, if you think really hard about it. Actually, don't even think that hard. I think it actually does rhyme. Oh, my bad. Uh, she's a two-star basket weaver, a Virgo looking for anything you say, though that just doubles your pool and increases our likelihood of finding you a soulmate. You're interested in theater shows, charity dinners, and celebrity scandal. You have a preference for green eyes and dark brown hair. You're relaxed, methodical, introvert, experimental, and romantic. Bad habit, not paying attention. Guilty pleasure, rock nightclubs. That's yeah, nothing to feel guilty about. They're fun now. Oh man, we have so many people to go through. Let's try this. And so we have a few good options, but I decided we're going to start with someone new because, well, I, I the arguably best option doesn't line up horoscopically, and I think that is kind of important. So here we have um, Amber Titchward. Uh, there's a little bit of attraction going one way. Uh, maybe that's actually not the best choice. Maybe, maybe Ava, no, um, oh jeez, I don't know. You know what, I am actually going to change my mind. Uh, yeah, here's Stacy Hoopson. See, these guys line up horoscopically, and there will be attraction going both ways if we dye her hair, and maybe that's slightly better, and we don't know anything about her. We didn't know anything about uh, the other person either. Well, let's try Stacy Hoopson first, actually. Surprisingly, there weren't as many arty types as I thought there would be in that black book. There was like one, but they didn't line up perfectly, and it was just like, eh, whatever, I'll just try this. Uh, so we have Stacy and Corolla here, like the Toyota Corolla, I guess. It's a Toyota car, right? <laughs> I think so. Okay, so we have uh, brown glam hair here. And uh, what would you like to eat? Something cold with white meat? Come on! <gasps> Oh my gosh, we did it! Carnival time! That is the last listed achievement uh, for recipes in a restaurant. So that's awesome! I'll require two rations of jerked chicken salad, please. Of course it's delicious. It's me. I'm the best waiter. Kitty says so. So let's start finding some things out about each other. When watching TV, do you prefer to watch alone or watch with friends? Oh, that's no good right there. It's not boring, it's... it's, uh, relaxing. Yeah, there we go. So, Kitty's here to save the day, get rid of that strike, but honestly, it's off to a rocky start already. Uh, spiciness, you 
pick up a book in a shop and find a racy part, always two-thirds of the way through. Do you put it back in disgust, or by the book and the sequel? Oh, you put it back in disgust. How very romantic. I'm not sure if that's romantic so much as, um, maybe a little immature? Oh, jeez, I have no idea. I mean, if you can't handle, like, any, uh, like, sex scenes or something, then it's like, hmm, maybe you should not be out looking for life partners of sorts. You might not be ready for the, uh, uh, the, I don't know, the possibilities that could entail and probably would entail. Who knows, but when watching TV, do you watch specific programs only or channel hop for hours? Oh, channel hop for hours. What a wrong answer that was. We don't need to be more spontaneous. Trust me. We are the best. You want to give them 20%? 365, so that would be 730. Yep, that's like the time it is now if it were five hours ago. <laughs> uh, it's 12.30 in the morning, and I'm just starting recording. Um, you know what? If we can get a second date out, uh, that's actually pretty good. Because that means we will have an extra chance at uh, awesome love, because we will not get that broken heart. Cool. I mean, I guess Ava was kind of... Wait, this is a different girl. It was Amber who I was looking at before. I think I meant to do Ava, and that's why I was like second-guessing myself on Amber. That would explain some things. So, sorry, you don't know this girl. This is Ava Vineborn. She's a kebab shop worker. See, they don't line up horoscopically, so I'm still kind of iffy on them, but we would get attraction going both ways, and she likes photography, which uh, Corolla would really like. So let's try these two next. And now we get to go to the uh, unlisted restaurants. I should take a quick look at my Steam achievements. Pardon me here. I don't think you can see what's going on, but I just want to check. Oh, look at all those achievements we've gotten. Gastronomical. I have one recipe left, I think, because... Uh, actually, no, it, may, it updated on Carnival Time, so I have two left. And I don't know where they are. <laughs> Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you were Ava. Yeah, you must be Corolla. Eh? Uh-huh. Very good. Okay, so let's hope that these two work out slightly better. We had to dye her hair red. And speaking of red, we have Red Raccoon right here. That's a little too much eyeshadow. You want something hot with white meat? Well, that sounds pretty good. I'll require two rations of Aussie chicken, please. Uh, okay. Oh, I forgot a really funny story. So today, when I woke up with my brand new spanking version of Windows 10, it's, uh, it's pretty good, uh, I found that my video editor would crash <laughs> whenever I tried to render a video. So that was fun. I finally got it working, thankfully, so there will be no delays on these videos. And it actually seems to be going a little bit faster on the render, so I wonder if the OS is just a little bit uh, less burdensome on the computer. Oh, jeez, this date is not going well. They don't line up on organization or spiciness, and now we gotta, you know, make her smell good. Like, I don't really understand why this... What is this luck that I'm having? I just... Oh, hey -o. I just... I got a perfect that time. I didn't get a perfect before. I just want these two to end up nice and happy together, but they're not, they're like actively trying not to do that. And it's like, come on guys, I'm just trying to keep out for your best interests. There's nothing up there. There's nothing up there. There's something. Uh, on an evening out, do you prefer a quiet pub or a packed nightclub? Oh, that is just wrong. You know what, I'm just going to start lying. If something bad happens, something bad happens. But if I can get them to the end of the date and just say, Nah, I don't really want to see you again. Then I don't get my business hurt with bad reputation. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You got a bad reputation. And then of course the also probably more popular, I don't give a damn about my reputation. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But yeah, so I like keeping my reputation up. Um... Oh, your mobile's dead. Of course we can call you a taxi in this very easy place. 563-112. 563-112. Five, 
Very good. Calling that. Um, and I'm just like spacing out. It, it may have be a little too late for me. Maybe it was a bad idea to record, but I've started recording and I've only got like 30 minutes left. Hey, if we can get a second date also, I don't know why that worked out, because these two were not compatible in the slightest, but hey, we didn't even get another, we didn't even get a broken heart. And I must say, I am a little curious about these two. We, we all remember Crispin Wickerholm, of course. They've got three of the four personality traits lining up and some massive attraction going on for each other. They line up horoscopically, and um, I don't think their guilty pleasures would line up, but if their bad habits line up, that may be something to be interested in. He likes rowing, orienteering, so it's like practical and nerdy. He wouldn't really like rock nightclubs. I don't think she'd like retro fashion, which might be hipster. Probably is hipster. But, I mean, we can see if their bad habits line up. Oh gosh, my hair is falling into my eyes and it's the worst because it's itchy. Uh, you calculate your date here already. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, hey, we're, you're Crispin, I'm Corolla. So let's get this thing started. Your ocular organs are so nice and your hazel eyes. Oh yeah, and your dark brown hair. Whoa! This guy has a pompadour, a ponytail, and a lumberjack beard. This does not get any better. Something cold with no meat. Well, we did not get the uh, recipe that I needed, so I believe it's either here, Australia, or Thailand, but I'm pretty sure we have uh, Thailand on lock. Now, I want to look for activity because a 4 out of 5 is much better than a 3 out of 5. On a day out to the countryside, would you rather take a hike in the hills or relax by the lake? Well, curses. We'd rather relax by the lake. We don't need to change gear. You need to change your gears to match ours. So at this point, I'm not so inclined to take them on a second date. I certainly could. Maybe let's see if they agree on horoscopes. You think they're nonsense? Ah. Uh, yeah. See, I don't think these guys would work out, um, because they may be horoscopically good, but they don't even agree on horoscopes, so... I mean, I have backups, I have backups, no worries, Superstition Irrational, yeah, it's, it's such piffle. Uh, of course we'd like something from your well-stocked dessert trolley. Actually, I'd prefer to have something from the not-as-well-stocked dessert trolley. Banana. Cheese. Skinny, banana, cheese, skinny, fruit, banana, cheese, skinny, fruit, double. All of those are healthy. That doesn't help me, except maybe the banana split. Banana, cheese, skinny, fruit, latte. Or something like that. Uh, that's the cheese board. It was espresso. Banana, fruit, skinny, cheese, double. Yeah. Cheese. We require one ration of the cheese. Banana, fruit, skinny, cheese, double. Was that not what it was? Was it banana cheese skinny? No, I don't, I don't even know. I thought I had it down. This is why I can't talk while I'm playing this game. Yet here I am talking while playing this game. So this is going very well, I must say. Let's talk about something we like. You like a nice period drama or sauce soap opera? A nice period drama? Yeah, you don't say. Aren't we a couple old romantics? Yeah, let's get the bill. Oh, man. If I can't get this waiter correct, I feel bad. Is it Brian? Does he have a pompadour? No. Is it Darren? Does he have a pompadour? No, it's Caleb, our boy. The pompadour, the man bun, and the wizard beard. What a champion. He is the change that this world needs to see. To become better. Uh, these two are... Uh, uh, let's not get rejected because uh, he he would not want to go out with you. I'm sorry, Corolla. That's it's, you, you think that's bad, but honestly, I'm just watching out for you. You know what? I think the most logical step is to go with the surefire decent match. And, I mean, it's probably a good match, just not a great match, but she doesn't really seem to click with anyone else. But you remember Isaac Babbitt, the guy who's very hard to find in the uh, HD Jumbotron pictures? Uh, there's a little bit of attraction going on, especially when we give her purple hair, but BOOM! Look at all those! It's gonna be so good, and he likes shouting in the streets. I don't know if these would line up. I don't think these would line up. Romance novels might with her, so things might be alright. We'll, we'll just find out. 
And so we're kind of going to be on a cycle of which restaurants we go to, because honestly, I don't know where these last two, one or two recipes are. They could be anywhere, and they don't like showing up, so... I think we just kind of got to keep trying. Your dark hair's nice and pleasant, your purple hair is so good. Okay, uh, yes, of course we'd like to order now, blondie neckbeard man. Affirmative, your preferred substance, sustenance, substance, <laughs> something hot with white meat. Chook and veg pie. We'll cry two rations of chook and veg pie, please. I, does chook stand for chicken and veg stands for vegetables? They're both two stars, so uh, let's hit him with some kitty kitty lovin', just because. I don't really think I need to hit either of them with some of that lovin', but it's just good to to know. And, uh, well, if organization's free. When you're on holiday, would you rather have an itinerary or take each day as it comes? An itinerary? You don't say! I totally didn't know that about you! Oh, man, it's like we're learning each other for the first time. Learning each other, wow. Okay, learning about each other. Let's try that one. That sounds a little bit better. I know how to English a little bit. When doing your finances, would you rather go to the bank in person or do internet banking? Internet banking? Hot dog! Me too! Oh, you're going to the restaurant. Restroom for a moment? Yeah, I'm going to the restaurant for a moment. I got another date right next door. Okay, so he's actually possibly going to make himself even more visible on the Jumbotron. So he's got no facial hair. He's got brown hair kind of like mine, except shorter. And he's got that brown shawl collar on top of a white shirt. Let's see if we can get what changes. Dude just took off that shawl collar. Okay, if you're sure. Um, I guess that would be clothing. Am I right? I don't know if I'm right. Honestly, I think now he might even be harder to find in those pictures. So let's hope we don't get that mini game. Because boy howdy, whew, I would not want to deal with that. Now let's just talk about one more thing. Get you two love scrubs on the way. Yep. Uh, when doing the housework, do you wear a nice apron or do it in your undies? A nice apron? Of course, it's the best thing to do! Uh, locally produced chocolates, of course. Let's just try and not mess this up. You don't like Turkish Delight, and Nuts Ahoy is your favorite. Uh, nothing there. Okay, so if there's zero there, we want to do a corner. But, well, it doesn't even matter. We got it correct anyways. Now there's one all around these and one around there. There's a decent chance those line up. I picked the bad one. There was one, and I picked it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, we should depart now. That is just frustrating. I had a one in eight chance, and I messed it up. But will you go out with me? Yes, I think I'm in love with you. Ah, oh, so good to hear from Kermit the Frog. <laughs> and thankfully, we still have a two-star in our line. Whew. Because I don't want to go to VIPs, they're so needy. This is Summer Dinglestein. That is a wonderful name. She's a copywriter, a Gemini, looking for a man. She's well into art house movies, environmental issues, and Tai Chi. She lives for gray eyes and black hair. She's a relaxed, methodical, expert, experimental, and romantic. That sounds like... Oh, except for the extrovert. That she would have just been the exact same. Bad habit is hogging the remote control, and her guilty pleasure is model trains. Yeah, let's find you your dream date. She's another Artie type. She was almost like an exact replica. I think we may have found him. Parker Knockway, a three-star naturalist, also a Gemini. A uh, little bit of attraction. We can double the amount that there is. He likes black and white movies, which sounds pretty arty to me. Or, or hipster, but probably with the secondary arty. Like CGI effects and chiptunes. And uh, they have those three personality traits uh, lined up. So I think these guys might be pretty good together. And a second date where we required purple hair. Now's totally my time to shine. I mean, you know, with that... Those highlights, girl. You are shining already. Parker and Summer. Ah, it's so shady to keep anyone around. Uh, my, my brain is just like going on like... Uh, what's the opposite of full speed ahead? Like full speed behind? Okay, so we have Glam Pony here. Uh, it's one of the new My Little Pony characters, I believe. What's on your food radar? Something hot with red meat. Uh, Biltong? Yep. That sounds pretty... No, no, cold, cold. But, no, those are also cold. Bunny chow. Ooh. Hollowed out loaf of bread filled with beef curry. Oh, man, can I have some bunny chow? That sounds awesome! Man, 
this game just makes me hungry. It's like I'm seeing all these foods of like things I would never eat, and I'm like, I really want them. Okay, so is there anything up there? Is there anything up there? Um, no. Let's just go down the line. You have to get to the shops in a hurry. Would you rather take a brisk walk or get to a bus? Oh, get get a bus? How did I possibly know that, that was going to happen? So he's three stars. Let's hit him with some some of the kitty lovin'. Because uh, he'll definitely be harder to win over than uh, Summer will be. And so we just want to keep it nice and balanced. Is there something new we can talk about? I saw... Oh, well, tradition. I forgot. I got tradition and organization confused. When buying books, would you rather see... Now, he's hipster. He might prefer the secondhand bookshop or download the ebooks. Oh, no, he wants the ebooks. Fantastic, good sir. Give me that sweet, sweet, delicious money. Also, oh, you've got something in your eye. Why would you ever do that? Okay, your rock. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's make sure I don't mess it up like last time. Flutter your eyes. Wonderful. And rock again. So we'll wink once more. Fantastic. Oh, you're like raising the temperature up in here. He said it. He said it. Up in here. Up in here. Y'all gonna make me lose my clothes. Up in here. Up in here. I don't... There are no regrets on that one. He said it, not me. And he's begging me to ask about spiciness. I'm doing the housework. Do you wear a nice apron or do it in your undies? Ah, uh, do it in your undies. I mean, hey, that's just one thing. Uh, we're not a boring Betty. You're a boring Bob. Totally nailed it. Okay, 419-1399. 419-1399. Yep. Fantastic. Yep. I, trust me, dude. Trust me. Chill. I know that's correct. You don't. You don't need to look so excited. I got this. It's the ten. It's the ten-digit ones that are kind of difficult. So one strike is not bad. He's a three star, so he'll be okay with that. And uh, we're gonna go on a second date and see if their guilty pleasures and bad habits line up. I'll co of course, he may be an arty type, but he kind of looks vintage. That's a or not vintage hipster. That's a really hard outfit to tell about. And I don't know about the beard and the pompadour thing. And so now we're coming to the Thai restaurant, because we can't go to the Australian restaurant. He's three stars. He'd hate that place, but he would love the Thai restaurant. And she just say it's fantasticals to see you again? Of course she did. Uh, something hot with white meat would be fabuloso. Mild green chicken curry sounds good. I'll have two kain kior, wen gai. I didn't realize that there were more Thai words after that. I thought there was just the, uh, you know... English, but there wasn't. So let's do bad habit, I suppose. What's the skinny on your bad habits? Can't help making inappropriate comments. I mean, eh, it's totally not that bad, yeah. Uh, we hog the remote control. Oh, that's totes okay. Nice. So, that's always good. I do so like that. What about guilty pleasures? There it is. There it also is. Let's try that. Uh, have you got any guilty pleasures? Body augmentation? Eh, I mean, that's not so bad. Aren't you, like, into, like... You're into model trains? Oh, that's pretty rad as it goes. Yeah, I mean, see? Oh, okay, so he's... I gotta get my reflexes going. Ah, I got him. Because the spider moves fast in the hard restaurants. I suppose they feel all powerful now, of course. Bah! Just squish the spider! Okay, and we just need to talk about one more good thing, and I think these guys are good to go. I believe I... Hmm... Can't get to it. Oh, okay, good. Social. <laughs> I, I saw the social go by, and I was like, I think I can get to it, but I couldn't. There was interest in the way, and while I think black and white movies and whatever arty stuff she likes would go together, I'm not totally sure, so... Just keep your hands off in public and make public displays of affection. Public displays of affection? Of course! That's so good! Literally having a party right now! Uh, shall we, like, go Dutch? No, I'm gonna try and shove it all on you. Baby, come back. We can shove it all on you. Hmm. I'm not really sure how well that worked. Oh, come on, come on, come on, go to the other side, go to the other- No! Yeah, uh, we could have gotten it perfectly, but, you know, whatever. I think, uh, things still went quite well. Yep, very, very good. Yeah, they are quite a hottie, aren't they? I mean, look at that beard. And let me put it this way, hashtag yeah! Aw, oh, those, those, those hair colors are so good together. Well, it's done it.
VIPs only. So here's Dean Wigwing. Uh, it's like the Wingdings font, except it's uh, it's newer. It's for Windows 10, actually, the Wigwings. Uh, he's a VIP motor racing driver, a Sagittarius looking for a woman. He's interested in trade secrets, being in charge, and visiting art galleries. That sounds chic. And arty. His preference for blue eyes and blonde hair is relaxed, methodical, introvert, traditional, and spicy. His bad habit, being greedy. His guilty pleasure is army surplus shops. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see what we can do for you. So the closest thing I got to a good match was Sarah Clapwall. Uh, not to be confused with Colin Clapface, or whatever his name was. Clapkin? I don't remember. <laughs> it rhymes with napkin. Uh, but they line up horoscopically, which is good. Uh, there's a little bit of attraction, but only going one way, so eh. But she likes budgeting, and budgeting might be kind of like, might be chic, or it might just be like, practical. It's, honestly, it's probably practical. We probably shouldn't talk about that. They line up on two of the three we've learned so far, and that's all we really know, but she's the best we have, so let's just try it out. And back to the Thai restaurant, because like I said, we gotta find those hidden recipes. And I believe that there are only three restaurants without an achievement, this being one of them. I believe it's one at each level. Uh, yeah, I love your brown eyes and your dark brown hair, just everything is brown. I love brown. Brown's my favorite color. Brown, brown, brown. Okay, so we have, uh, Super Eyebrows McBlack hair. Uh, what would we like to eat? Something hot with red meat. Let's see what we got. Pork strips might be it. But spicy minced beef sounds even better. I'll acquire two rations of Larbnoia. Uh, uh-huh. Yep, of course it's delicious. Okay, so let's hope that we can line up on four of the five personality traits. Otherwise, I don't see this going so well. Here's a new one. Uh, which gadget would you prefer, a pedometer or a massage chair? Oh, wrong answer, but she's a VIP, so let's at least try to lie, because things may not look so hot, but uh, I'd rather not get a strike and maybe hope that things shift up in the black book. That actually worked out. Surprise, definitely a pedometer. Yeah, keeping active, it's... The bomb diggity, as they say in certain parts of the country, I'm sure. Can we get tradition? No, we can't get like anything. Oh, we can get tradition. Uh, when it comes to washing up, would you rather do it in the sink or stick it in the dishwasher? Ah, they don't line up on like anything. I was hoping it would be slightly better than two of five, but it does not appear that it will turn out that way, and this one will only get one space to glory, come on! No, I mean, it was worth a try, let's see. This one might not at all. <laughs> I, I tried to, like, time it as I watched it go around, but I just misjudged it. And it's just, yeah, definitely sticking in the dishwasher. Why are they trying to hide that? We'd like to do it in the sink with you, the dishes, not you. <laughs> dishes. Hi, Jeff! Uh, this is the lovely Sarah, I believe. Yep, Sarah, good. <laughs> How nice of them to check up on us, isn't it? So good. Okay, let's just talk about one more thing and hope this date doesn't end in an absolute disaster so social would not work out. Blue, however, might. When playing board games, do you play to win or play for fun? Play to win? Wow, you don't say. Aren't we the organized pair? Of course we are. And uh, let's give them 12%. Man, you had to make it hard. 229, divide that by 5 is 20, 40, 45... 46-ish, so 229 plus 46 would be 275. Ah, oh, aren't we clever? I like to think so. Okay, let's get out of here. Maybe we can beg for a second day. No, no, we can't. Okay, goodbye, Sarah. You did not, you didn't just, you didn't do it for me. Sorry, girl. So, these two may not seem like a very good match to start off with, but she's the best we got, even though she's edgy beyond all belief and he's kind of chic and arty. Uh, she's another VIP, of course, and there's a little bit of attraction, though, with her beautiful blue eyes. There's Shawnee a side soul, by the way, she showed up before. Um, none of that would line up at all, but uh, three of those line up, and that's a pretty good start to maybe get a second date, maybe refresh the black book a little, or find out that they're actually a match made in heaven. Guess who gets wonderful blonde locks? Oh, and, uh, 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 if you haven't looked at the restaurant yet, close your eyes and guess where we are, because it's totally not the Thai, it's the Thai restaurant again, I'm sorry. Because if there's any chance that there's a recipe here, we gotta jump on that. Yeah, this restaurant does kill people, I hear. 
Um, windows to the soul of the brain if you want to be picky. Your blonde hair is so current. Of course it is. So we have normal face black hair here. Stupid. It's something cold with fish. Yeah, you guy. Let's check in. Bed pad ped. Nope. Um, it's pork. So it's going to be Yumbla Mook. Squid tossed in a salad. Yep, we require two portions of Yumbla Mook. Yeah, oh, yeah, fantastic. Good stuff. Hopefully these dates go fairly quickly because I'm starting to get sleepy and I will probably not stay up late like I thought I would. When doing the housework, do you wear a nice apron or do it in your undies? Oh, you wear a nice apron? Why? It's undies! Aprons are so much work to put on. Undies are, for the most part, always on. <laughs> for the most part, I guess, unless you're like super, super duper spicy. It's so romance, of course it is. I mean, hey, a a second date, like one bad, oh, oh, get kitty kitty love it. Oh, we should have shot him. I'm so used to just shooting the other person, but no, oh, my bad. Uh, one bad personality trait is not gonna kill us. And you know what they say, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Uh, we don't have... Um, athletics. So I guess we'll do tradition. When choosing a car, would you rather have a classic car or the latest model? A classic car. You don't say. We do prefer the old-fashioned way. Uh-oh. Some some bad some bad uh, bad stuffs. Let's go lower than a nine. Oh, just barely. Let's go lower than an eight. Oh, a little bit less barely. That's always good. Let's go higher than the four. Cutting it real close. Let's go higher than the four. Okay. If I need to do one more, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go lower. Wow, that was just about as perfect as it could be. Emergency diverted. Yep, yeah, are we okay? Yep, yeah, we're totally good. So glad to hear it, of course. Fantastic work, you two, holding in that fart and then covering up your tracks. Uh, is there some things? There's no athletic. Are you kidding? Don't want to talk about spiciness. We can talk about organization, but, uh, man. When playing board games, do you play to win or play for fun? Oh, you play to win. We play to win, too. I think we can get a second date, which is definitely very good. Uh, if you guys, yeah, of course I have my smartphone here, so let's take a wonderful selfie. You know what? If you guys are going to make it that easy, I'm going to be quite happy. Okay, fantastic photo. Yep. And, oh, man, what do I want to do? Well, we'll see what he says. What does he say? He has insufficient data. I was thinking, like, I'm looking at my time and I'm like, 46 minutes? I might just want to end it because I'm tired, but he, he didn't want me to end it, so we're going to go on another one. And now we're at the Spices Right just because we can't go to the Thai restaurant again and it felt like it was the closest, like, it was the next of kin. Yeah, Shania, we meet again. You're living for this restaurant, of course you are. Oh man, so we have a Brown Curls McMario mustache. And, uh, we did something hot with red meat. You can do that for you. Grilled lamb. Lamb? I can't remember if lamb... Uh, it's chicken, so lamb must be it. So let's actually do the kebab, the Husseini kebab. Sounds a little bit nicer, just, you know, I could go for a good kebab at times. Guilty pleasure we can talk about? Sounds good. Uh, do you have any guilty pleasures? You're well into flock wallpaper. I have no idea what that even is, but that's pretty nice. We're into army surplus stores. It's like totally mega. That's right. She would like that. Okay. Cool. She's edgy. Beyond all beliefs. I have no more beliefs to give. So we can find out about this last one. You watch an awesome movie about street dance. Do you take a street dance lesson or buy it on DVD? Oh, you take a street dance lesson? No. That is not at all what you do, okay? Listen to me. Trust me. Would I lie to you? Oh man, are we gonna get away with it? Oh my gosh! It worked! Fantastic! Definitely take a street dance lesson. Busy, busy, busy! Uh oh, uh, 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 it's our ex. Ex partners, rational and logical as usual. Same old, same old. Yep. It's fine. Who was that weirdo in. T she had to be romantic. I thought he was the romantic one and she was the not romantic one, but. No, that one's not gonna work. That one's gonna flip over. It was so close, though. Oh, come on. I just want this to work out. I don't want these two to, like, not be so good together. This one, it might, it might. One more, 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 one more. Oh my gosh, it worked! 
Uh, they seem to be something from some kind of delusion. <laughs> That's a little morbid. Okay, so these two were lying quite a bit, but there's literally no one else in the black book. Can we talk about bad habits a little bit? See if those line up. Let's probe you on your bad habits. Totally can't help sleeping all day. I mean, he's just like, he's, nothing phases this guy. Uh, we can't help being greedy. Ah, oh, she hates that. Of course she does. And that's just gonna ruin the date. Okay, handmade chocolates. Yeah, let's let's try it. You don't like orange and ham and you love Turkish delight. How about that one? Uh, you don't like orange and ham and I'm sorry, girl. That's that's my bad. So there's one. So it can't be any of those, so it's got to be this one, so that's fine. Worked out quite well. Lush Turkish Delight, that's my number one fave. Totally loved two of those, so I'll let you off the nasty one. Oh, thanks. Yep, nailed it with your fave flave. Oh, man, she's not going to, they're not going to, she's not going to be able. What? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, man. Okay. Well, this girl's new in the black book, and she's the only one who might match him. She's Beatrix Huntmill, she's attracted him, she likes motorsports, and he is a motor racing driver, so that's pretty cool, right? I, I think so. Um, we'll have to give him black hair, and other than that, let's just hope for the best. And back to the Rainbow Roadhouse. Uh, yep, oh yeah, the inefficient routes, they're the worst, right? It's charging you. He's charging you for that. This is Beatrix? Of course. Yeah, the place is very fancy. It's the South African restaurant again. Uh, Windows to the Soul, of course. Black hair, super good. So we have a uh, light brown mixed spikes a lot. And uh, what would we like? Something hot with no meat. You're a vegetarian and nothing weird. Hot with no meat. Oh, of course it's going to be maize and sugar bean dish. we we'll require two rations of ngakusho. Still don't know how to say that, I never know how to say that, I'm pretty sure. And these two are either going to line up well or they will not. Um, let's start with something, you know, that matters though. Oh, in choosing a car, would you rather have a classic car or the latest model? Oh, this is starting off wonderfully. Let's just... Oh, yeah, let's... We... There's, there's no winning when we have the VIP. If you, if they're the VIP, then you can lie and get away with it. Hope for the best. He's not going to be satisfied whether he lies or doesn't. So it's just kind of like, well, this one's the lesser of the dissatisfaction. But that's going to flip over and ruin everything. You ruin everything. Definitely have the latest model. What are we trying to hide? Oh, geez. Why do you, where do you have to ask? Maybe we're trying to sound good for you so that you will have babies with us. Um... You know what? I'm just curious right now. Apparently you have an interest in motorsports. You like that. That's good. And we're into, um, visiting art gallery. God. I thought she might like it because she's like disco dancing, but I guess there's no way I'm disco dancing. Do -do 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 -do. I'm too sexy for that cliff. Too sexy for that cleft. So sexy. Okay, so I'm sorry, but it malfunctioned violently and had to. I, I didn't even read that. And I'm like, okay, maybe I. It was about music, wasn't it? And it malfunctioned violently? That's, uh. I should pay more attention to these stories, I suppose. Uh, when watching TV, do you watch specific programs only or channel hop for hours? Oh, good golly. This is. I think this is the end with this VIP. I don't think he's gonna be happy. He's certainly not lying like he cares for this girl. It's like, come on, man. At least try. Okay? Okay. Spin. And stop on the plus ten. On the plus ten. Don't flip over. Don't flip over. I will be mad. Well, fine. You had to do it. Definitely channel hop for hours, of course. Yeah, our agreement is total. Celebrated chef approaches our table. Of course she does. Because she couldn't make editing easy. Because I need to cut this out now. Or maybe I don't. Not if I just talk over it. Corners. Okay, so corner up. Boom, 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 boom. Underbelly. It had a pleasing underbelly. It had a hint of supreme beingness. It had an aftertaste beyond normal human comprehension. It had an overtone of cosmic amazingness. It was pandimensionally satisfying. And it had an unparalleled divine moistness. So there's one where I actually did it without editing it. So trust me, I actually do try to memorize the patterns. But that's the key. 
you make patterns out of them. And the one where I mess up is when they're totally random and don't make any discernible pattern at all. But we're going to lose this guy, this De Dean Wigwing, um, because he didn't like anyone in my black book, and that's his fault. So maybe he should go to a different place. Bye, Dean! Good luck out there. Hope you find someone. Maybe not. Okay, well, good luck. And somehow we don't even have any mail to read, so um, that's a little weird. But I think that the the flamboyantly colored hair people, Parker and Summer, will work out quite well. I'm actually excited to see if they give me babies because uh, they liked each other's bad habits and guilty pleasures. I'm just saying that's pretty good. So this is just a second reminder. Maybe I'll put another annotation here that if you want to watch me play a game that is mostly black instead of a game that is mostly pink, you can. It's Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It was all the rage like last year. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is the rage now, but that's okay. She has that on her channel too, so you can watch that if you want. Um, I think that's going to do it. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on Kitty Powers Matchmaker, our quest for 25 children, which we're still only at 12, but we'll get there soon, maybe. Goodbye.